Hey, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to my next reaction to Star Wars The Clone Wars. We are on Season 1, Episode 5, Rookies. And this looks like this is going to be a pretty clone-heavy episode, which I am all for. I have enjoyed the, I guess you say, the clone-centered um, episodes. And I gotta say, uh, the one clone cadet still really strikes hard because that did bring back a lot of memories of like my own basic training my field training corpsman training just basically really any training i did you know it brought back so many memories of that obviously probably not gonna get so much of a i get to say emotional attachment on this one but then again the way this series is written i probably will i mean there's no telling this series is so well written and I love the fact that even though you know, obviously, certain characters are going to make it out, uh, maybe some characters that you don't recognize, and that's the thing I really like is, like, the characters that I didn't recognize, like, um, in the episode Supply Lines, that one Jedi, I already forgot his name. But I think because he was a Jedi, in my mind, I automatically assumed he was going to make it. And then, no, he didn't. And that one really... I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's like even seeing like all the supplies get dropped and seeing their joy, I was just so shocked because I'm just like, practically everybody that was there, all the clones plus the Jedi, like, were wiped out. And it's like, it, I couldn't really feel that joy. And that is just a testament to the writing. And again, I think it's because in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, Jedi, he's going to make it out of here somehow. And then all of a sudden he doesn't. And it's like, oh. So, there's really no telling what this episode's going to do. So, you know, whatever expectations I might have, they could easily blow them. But even if they actually go with the way that I think it's going to go, it still turns out to be really great episodes. There has not been an episode I have not liked yet. So, we are going to go ahead and get right into it. If you'd like to see a full watch along to this, you can um, join my Patreon. I'll have a full watch along as well as early access to this. This is going to be... Uh, close to a week early uh, on Patreon if you'd like to see it early and let's go ahead and get started Personally, I like that. It's so quiet out here. I can catch up on the rig manuals. Echo, what is wrong with you? Is that Domino Squad? You uh, may not realize it yet fives, but you landed on the most boring post in the app. Dude, it's Domino Squad! Most important. Attention, Sergeant on deck! At ease. Even though you're all new here, I shouldn't have to remind you that this quadrant is key to the Outer Rim. If the droids get past this station, they can surprise attack the facilities where we were born on our homeworld of Kamino. There's some officers on the way, so I want everything squared away for inspection. Understood? Sir, yes, sir! Dude! That is awesome! It's Domino Squad! <laughs> I didn't realize they were going to be together after they graduated. I am suddenly way more invested in this episode. Sir, incoming meteor shower. Raise the shield. Ooh, meteor shower. Heavy, don't get too cocky now. Why do I have a feeling, though, that that's not meteors? I didn't think so. Uh-oh! Oh, were those... What type of droids are those? Those are like advanced battle droids. Sentry, do you copy? Uh, he's taken out. No, those weren't meteors. They've disabled the beacon. Oh no, they're on their own. Get a message to the fleet. We have to war. Oh. Ah. Sarge. No. Oh no. Now what? No, we can. There's too many. Yeah, no, you need to go. Wow. These are some insanely efficient droids. The outpost is secure, General. We shut down the alarm and turned on the all-clear signal. Keep that signal alive! 
Our spy on Camino is making contact. What? All the preparations for your invasion are in order. I will await your arrival. The destruction of Camino will stop their production of clones for good. Rishi Outpost, come in. Rishi Outpost, come in. I'm sorry, Commander. We're um, experiencing technical difficulties. This is the inspection team. Oh, please. Inspection. Negative, negative. We uh, do not require an Ooh, they they got to know something's up. Thank you. We'll be the judge of that. Oh. <laughs> Was that a Han Solo reference? We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Something's not right here. No. Well, good luck. I'm putting you in charge of this one. Yeah, there's definitely something not right. But we got Rex and Cody coming to the rescue. That's going to be a good thing. But what's Domino Squad got? And I was so excited to see Domino Squad. Now I'm feeling a bunch of anxiety. Don't forget about those giant eels. Yeah, I'm going to see Whoa! No! Let's move before it comes back. Uh, poor cut up. Oh man, that is not how cut up meets his end. So what, now all we got left is heavy fives and echo? Oh man, please tell me that's not how cut up goes out. This is not good. I don't see the deck officer anywhere. These boys are sloppy. No, they're not sloppy. Take us to the sergeant in command. Roger, roger. Attack flare. What, Rex? What Trust me. Doing? Trust him. Rex. Just as I thought. Looks like one of those new commando droids. That flare must have come from the survivors. All right. Well, we at least know these two are gonna make it out. Granted, it does make me wonder how, but uh oh. oh. Oh no! Oh, oh, come on! Hands above your heads. Take your sunbonnets off. Uh, sir? Take them off now! It's Echo. I mean, not Echo, but, well, Echo is in the group, but. The name's Rex. But you'll call me Captain or Sir. Sir, yes, sir. Where's your sergeant? Dead, sir. Looks like we got ourselves a batch of shinies. Oh, man. Shinies, sir? That's right. Your armor. It's shiny and new. We'll take back our post, shiny or not. They should have checked in from the Rishi station hours ago. Yeah, they should have, except, um... Follows orders as well as you do. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps Cody is boring Rex with standard procedures and protocol. Well, trust me, there's definitely nothing boring going on over there. So we will retake this base. How do you propose we get through those blast doors, Rex, old boy? I have a few ideas. <laughs> if anybody can figure it out, it's Rex. Unit 26, is that you? Roger, Roger. You sound strange. Take off your helmet. Let me see your faceplate. Roger, Roger. <laughs> well done. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. <laughs> well played. Woo! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I got one. Sorry, Echo. I jumped that one. Damn it, no! Our public base is still transmitting the all clear signal. But for some reason, our commando droids are not responding. Send down reinforcements to investigate. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are those all command? Yes, they are. Er, no, wait. Those look like regular. Okay, they're just regular battle droids. You should be able to handle them easy. That is a lot of them, though. We can't protect the outpost long against that army of clankers. Then we'll destroy the outpost instead. We have to warn the Republic about the invasion. They'll take notice when the all clear signal stops. It'll take more than a few detonators to destroy this outpost. We can use the LT. Liquid Tabana. 
highly explosive. Good. Bring the tanks here and prime the detonators. All right. Get it, Domino. This one here is mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My man, heavy. <laughs> Say please. <laughs> Get him, heavy. Hold back to the come on, come on. Rex, time wasting. Almost ready. Heavy. Yes, sir. This detonator isn't working. I'll take care of it. It'll be fixed in no time. You guys get out of here. Just make it fast. Those droids are getting close. Oh no, don't tell me Heavy's gonna... I mean, that'd be a heck of a way for him to go out. This is good. Heavy? No! Heavy! The remote isn't working. I'll have to detonate it manually. I know what I have to do! I don't like your tone, rookie. I don't either! I know it needed to be done, but dang it! Well, I mean, at least Heavy went out with a blaze of glory, but I still still really feel bad about how a uh, cut up went out. Your new unit is lucky to have you. I'd be proud to fight beside you anytime, anywhere. Congratulations, you're not shinies anymore. With all due respect, sir, we failed our mission. We don't deserve this honor. Not gonna cry. No. Not gonna cry. Good for you. The Republic wouldn't have learned of the Separatist invasion until it was too late. You showed me something today. You're exactly the kind of men I need in the 501st. Sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> Alright, that was Clone Wars Season 1, Episode 5. Rookies, still working on composing myself a little bit. <laughs> like I kept saying near the end, not gonna cry, not gonna cry. Very close. Oh, oh, oh man, that was rough. It was like I was just talking about clone cadets, and it's like how it's actually I got Domino Squad, and then this brings back Domino Squad, and we lose two of them. Cut up. Oh man, I hate the way they did cut up, man. They did them dirty. Heavy went out the exact way I would expect Heavy to go out, though. Ugh. But, man. I'm not gonna lie. It was nice to see Domino Squad in real-time action. And, you know, they really proved themselves. You know, it's like, even in their final test, you know, in Clone Cadets, you know, they had to, you know, they had to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Improvise. And, you know, in a way they had to hear, I mean, they had Rex and Cody with them, which... If ever a duo of clones you wanted, that's a good duo to have, but man. Woo! Bringing back Domino. I was talking about how, you know, I didn't think I was going to get too invested into this, but as soon as I heard the name Heavy and then it started hitting, then there's Fives, Echo, which is like, it's Domino Squad, and it's like instant, you know, instantly invested in the episode, and. You know, I think that's what really did it for this episode. You know, just bringing them back and... Oh, man. It's going to take me a hot minute to get over, you know, losing Cut Up and Heavy because, you know, it's just one of those things. It just doesn't feel right without the whole group, you know. But, you know what's crazy, though? At the end, when Fives and Echo were, you know, given you know, their accommodations, you know, and how, you know, they were talking about, you know, how they really feel they didn't deserve it, you know, how they feel their mission. You know, as weird and as corny as that may sound like to anybody on the outside, you really don't understand how real that is amongst 
veterans. I mean, I know you heard the term, you've probably heard the term survivor's guilt. You know, so many people have that. And that is so prevalent amongst, you know, active or former military. You know, you go through something where there's a lot of death and you somehow get out, even, you know, even when, if the mission is a success, you know, it almost feels like failure in a way. You know, because you never want to lose anybody in your group. And it's just one of those things where victories can feel like losses, you know. And honestly, it's like, I think that's what makes like the, sh like the episode Clone Cadets in this episode. I think that's why those resonate so much with me is because there are very real military elements with these videos, you know, with Clone Cadets, you know, just the feeling of pride when, you know, you finally managed to get through, like, all your training has finally paid off. And then in this episode where, you know, things can go really bad, but yet you succeed in what you need to do, but yet at the same time, you still feel like a failure. Those are very real aspects that not too many people really understand the closest that anybody re may really even get to that is as weird as this sounds sports because the time that you spend with your teammates preparing you know getting ready for everything and then if you don't make it to the end you know just the heartbreak you feel where it's like no matter how good you do it feels like a failure that is real. But with all that being said, I think we'll just go ahead and end it there. And in the meantime, just feel free to check out my other Clone Wars reactions. And also feel free to check out my other Star Wars reactions. Thank you all for stopping by and checking this out. It really means a lot to me. And I will catch you all in the next episode.